Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Raja Bransa. My name is Yvonne Skyoli Yulianto. And my name is Elvino Saperio Yulianto. We are Alatif Islamic School Robotic Team. Alatif Islamic School Bandung is an international Islamic school with a Cambridge curriculum that combines science, technology, Islam as well as the Tafis program by prioritizing Islamic education in shaping children's character. Our achievement uh, is first place in the national robotic competition in the underwater category, and the second place in the national robotic competition in the sumo aerobic category. Uh, first winner of Indonesian Robotic Olympiad and uh, Robotic Competition Champion in Bandung Raya. Our summary will be presented by Evan. The competition category that is participated in is the ROV or Remotely Operated Underwater Vehicle. The category challenges the participants to control underwater robot using a remote control or RC. In addition, we must also be able to move marbles as objects from one place to another. The problem we face is how robots can move in the water and can pick up objects and then move them. We made an underwater robot using an Arduino Nano microcontroller which is connected to a DC motor as the driving force. Because of this, the robot operates underwater. We use a waterproof box to keep the components safe. In addition, the Arduino is control con connected to the receiver so that this robot can be moved using a remote control transmitter remotely. By using four motors, this robot can move up, down, front, and back. And there is one DC motor on the front which is function to suck objects. The mm. conclusion is underwater robots can move in the water uh, controlled using a remote <coughs> control as well as moving objects. Besides that, skills are needed to control it. The main challenge is the robot must be able to move 16 marble as object and move them to a designated place. Can the main task be broken down into smaller tasks? Yes, the main task can be broken down into small tasks like controlling the robot under the water with a remote control. Then, uh, take the marbles and move the marbles from one place into another. If all of these small tasks can be completed, then the main task will be completed. First is waterproof box, serves to hold water from entering as the place for component to be installed. And then Arduino Nano, serves to control or the brain of the robot. We can control the underwater robot with this. Remote control, or TX, serves as a signal of value to the RX which is forwarded to the Arduino so that it can control the robot. Receiver, or RX, receive to receive signal from the remote control. And then motor driver. Serve as current for a, a DC motor so that we can adjust the speed and the direction of the motor. Motor DC. Serve as a driving force for the robot after it's combined with the proper. Propeller. Serve as a source of energy of robot motion. Regulator. Serve as lowering voltage from 12 volt to 5 volt. Battery. Serve as a source of energy for robot machine. Remote control will give a signal and be received by the receiver. After that, the Arduino Nano will read the value from the remote control. Then the Arduino Nano will give commands to the motor driver and will drive the DC motor. After testing the robot, we face some problems. They are one of the DC motors sometimes does move. Second, 
Sometimes the robot is disconnected with the remote control. The cable connected to one of the DC motor is a little loose and lacks maintenance so it gets damaged uh, quickly. Second, due to low battery, uh, the connection is lost. Now let's fix the problem. Okay. First, we must resolve if we must resoldering the wires connected to the DC motor. Second, perform routine maintenance to DC motor such as giving it WD fluids. Third, by ch charging the battery before the robot is used and conducting periodic battery checks. Right now we are gonna measure the height of the aquarium. 40 centimeters. Right now we are gonna measure the uh, what the aquarium is. The, uh, the, what? the aquarium is 50 centimeters. Right now we are gonna measure uh, from the Frame to the basket is 30 cm. And now we are gonna measure the space of the basket is 10 cm. We are gonna measure the uh, side of the marbles is 14 cm. Right now we are gonna measure the height of the robot that is 15 centimeters. Right now, the length of the robot is 19 centimeters. Uh, we are gonna measure the the width of the robot that is 19 centimeters. One more boss. Two more balls. Three marbles. Four marbles. Marbles. 
Take marbles. Oh, seven marbles. Seven marbles. Eight marbles. Nine marbles. Ten marbles. Eleven marbles. Thirteen marbles. Fourteen marbles. Fifteen more balls. Sixteen. Sixteen more balls. designing collecting materials and making robots as well as fixing problems the robots performance is better and can solve challenges in accordance with the regulation previously we participated in the MRC Madrasa Robotic Competition the MRC competition itself was organized by the Indonesian Ministry of Religion in this competition we won first place in the underwater category national robotic competition Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.